Good evening folks. Good morning. I don't know what time you are watching this, but hello. How are you? What's up everybody? CP here. Welcome back to another video. We are going to comparing Python vs Julia. So, let's roll the intro. Foo. First, let me tell you a story. When I was learning Python, I came across Julia. So, I asked my teacher, is Julia said to take over Python the same way Python take over Java? And he said, Julia is a new and lots of people still learning the first language as a Python. It doesn't matter at the beginning, but remember one thing, when you learn any language and become expert in it, it is easy to move on other language. If you want to know Python versus Julia as a job perspective, then check out this AI society Instagram page. He has the one of the best explanation. I will put a link in the description, so check that out. Python is undoubtable the most popular language among the data scientists and machine learning professionals. But Julia founded by Viral B. Shah, Deepak, Vinchai, Allen, Adelman, Jeff, Stefan and Kino is now gaining popularity in the field. This year in August, Julia developers announced the 1.0 release of the, their project. Which means the language is no longer at developer stage and is now an expert. Before moving on their comparison, it is important to indicate establish that it is not fair to expect that Julia can beat Python. Python has been in market for ages and its success stories are everywhere. Julia on the other hand is quite new and does not compete with Python in many areas. This video will only empathize on what way both languages are different so that it helps you to decide whether or not to being learn Julia in case you haven't. It has been started that Julia as a programming language has the potential to compare and upset the programming king Python. Python has been around for a long time than Julia and soon it has become preferred choice for developers and programmers. In fact, according to new survey, Python was termed as the number of language the developers would be using if they weren't using Julia. So let's talk about the speed of both language. Julia is as fast as C. It is built for speed since the founder wanted something fast. Julia is not interpreted and hence that marks for fast programming language. It is also compiled at just in time or runtime using LLVM framework. Julia gives you great speed without optimization and handcraft profiling and is your solution to perform problems. Julia is excellent for numeric computing and it is also takes lesser time for big and complex codes. Julia undoubtedly beats Python in the speed and performance category. The code in Julia run at a brilliant speed and it is unmatched. However, lately Python has become easier to speed up. Okay, now let's talk about community. It is of utmost important for any programming language to have massive and active community for it. The community should be due to language. Julia has community that is ever growing and extremely enthusiastic. However, since it's a new language, the size of community is quite small. Python has been around for ages and the hence boosted up huge community that works in its advantage. The programming community for Julia is very nice at stage. The large community for Python is the huge advantage of developers since it allows multiple resources to resolve problems and doubts. One of the drawbacks of Julia is that packages aren't very well maintained. It is also take too long to initial plot data however Julia can directly interface with libraries in C. Since Julia is relatively new, the culture of software is small and it will need mature libraries of its own flourish. Python on other hand has plenty of libraries and hence makes work easy for every additional task. Julia lacks the number of libraries that Python has and hence there is a easy due to its rich set of libraries. More third-party libraries also support Python. A large number of third-party packages can support or it is an essential except for every developer and programmer. Both Julia and Python are dynamically typed language and developers don't have to specify variables. However, with Julia you can combine and enjoy the benefits of both dynamic typing and static typing. Julia is compiled language and it isn't interpreted. It is compiled by LLVM and hence shows problems such as recompiling hence the code most times as starting up. Python is interpreted language and doesn't need compilation at all. Python has easy readability and the code friendly syntax. In turn, its versatility makes it easier for programmers to perform different activities at the same time. 
Its rich library and framework also facilitate coding and hence save developer time. Both language Python and Julia are capable of running operations in parallel. Python methods, however, require serialization and deserialization of data for parallelizing between threads, where Julia parallelization is much more refined. Julia is also boosted of less top heavy parallelization syntax as compared to Python, in turn, reducing the threshold to its use. So, conclusion is with multiple advantages and features, it is kitty. Julia's recent popularity is well explained. However, it is still relatively immature programming language, especially if you, especially if compared to Python. The fact that Python is older to Julia works to its advantage, especially because of the massive and active community Python has built over time. And that said, area like code conversion and speed are much easier and better in Julia as compared to Python. However, Python is speeding up with time. As started early in this video, it is not really fair to compare Julia and Python as they are not at the same level currently. It can be said that Julia beats Python over its weakness, but it cannot but it cannot beat the Python in strength. Currently it cannot replace Python as general scripting language. But Julia is fast facing with the development and may sometime in the future be able to give a tough fight to Python. Which one to choose between the two depends on your requirement. If your project is much into mathematics, Julia shines there. It has great support for functional program. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hit the like button if you like the video. Smash the subscribe button if you aren't already. And 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 I will see you guys in the next one.